Another easy week, huh? I'm sorry? Another easy week? <laughs> They're all busy, but uh, no, we're, we're excited about going and playing tomorrow. Uh, you know, we got a big challenge, uh, never easy over there, so uh, hopefully we'll be ready to go. What sticks out to you about what you've seen from them in recent games? Well, they, you know, Wayne's done a tremendous job of keeping them focused and keeping them playing hard. And, uh, you know, their last two home efforts against uh, Colorado and Utah were, were outstanding. You know, with the big win over Utah and played Colorado as tie score with two minutes to go. So uh, they've continued to play hard and, and they've been tough at home. Well, you jumped in the first game. It can't get much of a scouting report, I assume. No, that was. We just caught him at the right time, and things went our way early there. And, and uh, you know, our activity and our, our defensive energy that particular game we were off the charts. So, you know, if we could do that again, you know, that would that would give us a much better chance. But uh, uh, we played off the ball that. Focusing on yourselves, is there anything that you want this team to accomplish as the last regular season game? Of well, we definitely got rebound the ball better. We we did a poor job in the Bay Area, so that that would be big. And uh, you know, I like the way we handle the ball, so that's going to be important tomorrow that we we don't turn the darn thing over. So, but uh, other than that, you know, we just we got to play, and and uh, we've had a good week. We've given the guys. Uh, you know, quite a bit of time off here to try to get uh, their legs back and recharge. Uh, had a good workout yesterday. We need a good workout today and, and hopefully be ready at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Is it nice to get this final week in the Civil War where you can give the guys a break given that it's about to become pretty intense with game after game after game? You know, it, uh, you, know you get two weeks during the season and you don't know where they're ever going to fall. Uh, but. Uh, you know, with this particular case, you know, coming off the road series with uh, Cal and Stanford, uh, it, it probably was a good time for us. Dana, this long week, is it mostly been focused on Oregon State or with the practice? Have you worked on other fundamentals to kind of get uh, prepared for the following week as well? Well, we gave them time off. Uh, uh, we took Sunday and Monday off. We practiced Tuesday, took Wednesday off. Uh, and then practice. Uh, so no, we we just worked on our team in Oregon State. Uh, you know, we we'll have plenty of time. You know, we won't play until Thursday. You know, so we'll have plenty of time to get ready for next week. Uh, we need to be worried about tomorrow at three o'clock. There's some big things on the line if you guys do win the Civil War in terms of you know number one seed, possible title, things like that. Do you mention that at all to your team about you know the rewards that come with a win? You know, our guys. You know, right now it's more the Pac-12. You know, it, uh, we'd like to to have a share of that title, and uh, so you know, we've got to take care of business tomorrow to, to have that opportunity. So they're they're aware of that. Uh, beyond that, we we haven't talked anything. Uh, you know, it's about tomorrow's ball game and how that affects the Pac-12. Given the the title race and, and what's ahead in the Pac-12 tournament. Do you have to remind these guys, hey, we do have one more against uh, Oregon State, or are they pretty no, good at that? No, no, our, our guys, you know, they, they know it's a, it's a big game tomorrow. They know uh, how hard it is to play over there. You know, it, it's, it's not an easy place to play, and uh, so we'll, we'll have to be prepared. We'll have to play well. Inconsistency on the throws, a thing that you've done. It seems like nobody's really kind of been automatic, but you've had a no. guy you can kind of send there. Yeah, we... Uh, I've shot him better, you know. Uh, Tyler's up a little bit from last year. Jordan's way up. Uh, Chris is a little down. Dylan's a little down. So, you know, we a couple guys that are up, a couple guys that are down from a year ago. And, uh, but we haven't shot him well of late, and that is a concern going in into any tournament. Uh, uh, free throws are always a big part of it. I think Dylan was two for six last weekend, and just sort of seems like you haven't kind of had a guy that you can feel pretty confident he's going to yeah, make. Yeah, I feel good. About all of them going up there, but we haven't shot them like we should. You know, it, uh, it was kind of like early in the season we weren't shooting threes as well as we needed to, and, and I knew we were better than that. And we're not shooting free throws as well as we need to right now, but I know we're better than that. So we just got to man up here and shoot them like we should. Looking at Dylan Brooks's season, obviously hasn't been 100% the whole way, but when he's been on, where have you seen him elevate his game even from where he was playing last year? Well, Dylan's. Uh, Great competitor, and uh, I, I think he's cut his turnovers down a little bit. He's, he's made plays that uh, he feels very comfortable making. Uh, I think defensively, he's made more plays than he did a year ago. So uh, I, 
like I said, he just he gives us an edge, and he's, he's a very good competitor, one of, one of the best I've had in, in a long, long time. So uh, you know, he, he does give us quite a bit. With him and Ball, is there a way to say he's been more valuable or have bigger impact on the team? You know, I, I, know, I, I know it. It's, it's important to Dylan. It's important to Ball. You know, everybody wants to be player of the year. You know, I mean, it's it's a great honor. Uh, but you know, whatever the other coaches think, you know, I, uh, I think Dylan's had a major impact on us for three years. Uh, ball's been for one year, you know. And so uh, you know, it is what it is, you know. I think it's splitting hairs, and I don't get involved with that. I don't get involved, you know, when Joe a couple years ago. It's it's whatever the coaches feel. It's it's everybody's right to vote who, who they feel has had the most impact on the league. And, I know for us, Dylan's done a great job, and, and Ball's done a great job for them. You know, I, I wouldn't want to take anything away from them at all. Do you think Jordan coaches take into account uh, how long you've been here, three years? You know, I don't know if they do or not. You know, uh, you know, some will, some won't. You know, it's, it's just personal preference. Jordan's growth from his freshman year to now, is it just basically his offense catching up with his defenses? No, his old game's gotten better. Uh, you know, I, I think we'd have saw a more dramatic jump a year ago if, if he wouldn't have had the injury that, that kept him out basically from May until December without being able to work out. But he's he's done such a great job of taking such a big step in all areas. His passing's better. Free throw percentage has jumped almost 20 points. You know, I mean, uh, he's just been more serious about his game, more serious about his defense. Um, he's been really good for us so uh, the offense is what catches everybody's eye but he's a better defender much better rebounder uh, much more aware of what's going on in the game his, his instincts and feel for the game has improved so much I, uh, I really like you know the big step that he's taken after this season, it really seemed like this roster could, could change a lot. Um, you know, Jordan's name is rising on some draft boards. Uh, you know, be a second round pick. Do you feel like this could be uh, the best chance Oregon has it at a national championship? We're still talking about tomorrow, and you're talking about <laughs> next year. I mean, what the heck? Uh, uh, you know, I don't know. We'll we'll worry about that after the year. You know, uh, guys will have chances. I you know I want them to do what's best for them. You know, if, if they have opportunities and their families feel like it's what they need to do, uh, I'll back them 100%. It's, it's an individual choice. As, as the coach, I have no right to tell them what to do. It's, it's all their decision. Uh, obviously, we'd love to have them back, you know, but they got to do what's best for them, and I understand that totally. And uh, we'll survive. We'll, we'll figure something out. You know, we'll just we'll have to move forward. And uh, But... You know, I, I want them to focus on right now and, and uh, you know, just get better. And like I said, when this season's over, then, you know, we'll worry about next year. Fortunately, I've got a great staff, and Tony and, and Mike and Kevin, those guys, they've been working on next year. I've, uh, I've got to, you know, devote all my energy to this year, you know, and, and uh, we'll worry about next year, next year. Dana Bradley, there's a lot of national discussion about the Pac-12 overall being one of the toughest conferences nationally. What are your thoughts about the conference with three Pac-12 teams in the top ten? Um, well, I, I, you know, I think Arizona and UCLA really have good teams. I, I like our team. You know, uh, where we fit in the, the national discussion will kind of be determined here in the next month. You know, but uh, I know that that Arizona's team is athletically is gifted in their size inside. And Sean does a great job of coaching. Uh, Steve's team, I mean, offensively, we haven't seen a team like that in the seven years I've been in the Pac-12. We, we haven't seen an offensive team like that. But, uh, they, they can score. They can hurt you in so many different ways. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's been a good year for our league. And, you know, hopefully we'll we'll finish strong. You know, so many things can happen, matchups. You know, where they send you, all that stuff. You know, you just can't worry about. It. You got to go play. But uh, you know, hopefully it'll work out for our league. I, obviously, selfishly, I want it to work out for Oregon, but I do want it to work out for our league too. Our league. You know, uh, it's been a while since we've had a Final Four and a champion. You know, with, uh, I want good things to happen for our league. Uh, 
want to be selfish and hope like heck they hope it happen for Oregon, but uh, I also want it to happen for our league. Dana, regardless of where this team ends up, you've got potential seven stars, three guys coming off the bench, you're right? Is this maybe the deepest, most uh, complete team that we've had? I don't know. I, I, I think it's a good team. You know, last year's team was pretty solid. Uh, you know, we do miss Elgin and Dwayne. They were two guys who gave us a lot. Uh, this team's solid. You know, I, I like the progression that, that Cavell has made. Uh, Roman has been tremendous teamwork. And it's, it's unbelievable the unselfishness and the professionalism he's shown. He's staying ready to go. He practiced his tail off yesterday. And just, you know, that's hard to do. Uh, Keith is coming back a little bit, and, and uh, if we had you know, got pinched, I think he could play us for a few minutes now. His knee's feeling a little better. So, you know, that does improve our depth, but we'll see how we play down the stretch. And just kind of go. The pressure of last season of being new for a one seed and contending for a league championship, does it help you this year deal with all those? That come with that? Well, I hope so. Uh, you know, heck, I don't know. I don't know how the guys will handle it, but uh, I hope it does. You know, it, uh, it was a lot of fun last year. The guys enjoyed it. I'd, I'd rather have them remember that, just how much they enjoyed it, and, and uh, want to try to recapture some of that. You know, uh, we had a great time uh, winning the Pac-12 tournament and, and, and then moving forward. Uh, and it was great to see the smiles on their faces and, and the locker room after the games. And, Never heard like heck when Oklahoma beat us, but uh, you know, I hope they remember that too because that's that's kind of a motivating force. But uh, I just hope they remember the fun we had and, and hope we can uh, you know, try to do that again. What did you think of Dell on Sports Center? <laughs> you know, I told him that it scared me a little bit when they, when they told me he was going to be on, but uh, no, he did a great job. You know, he's. Uh, you know, the maturity he showed and, and uh, the growth in the last couple of years, you know, as a freshman, he was such a hot hit. And uh, he's still a hot hit, but he's got it under control a little bit. And, uh, no, I, I was happy for him. I thought he did a great job. And uh, uh, he, was, he was really good. Really good. All right, thank you.